you know, life didn't get great until I started to lower my stress levels. I mean, a lot of you are in this position that clicked on this video. Your stress levels are just way too high. Your mental health is taking a hit and you're just feeling down in the dump. You're just trying to find a way to strengthen yourself mentally so that way you can do the things that you want to do. And you're going to need tools, but you're also going to need a, a mindset. Well, how do you develop a mindset when your mindset is being hit by exterior things and internal things and circumstances around your life? It's just not easy. It's just not as easy as telling someone to just go breathe in and out. And, and although breathing techniques is something that I recommend, it's something that I promote, it's something that I do myself, it's just not simply enough. You need the tools and to be able to access these type of skills within in order to find that healing. And I think the prerequisite to anything that all of you want to do in life, uh, whether it be in your careers, be in a personal relationship, or just grow something, you're going to need to lower the mental health. You're going to need to improve the mental health, but you're going to need to lower those stress levels. And one way that I honestly say that I would really help me, which is using a tool, but using a tool that's low maintenance, that I can do in the comfort of my home, and that is something that doesn't impact my health as it is. A lot of times there are things out on the market, medications, um, sacrifices that we all make. You try to find something to eliminate something else, but really you're creating something that's going to be a hurdle for you to eliminate something else. And you don't want to do that. So the best thing to do is invest in something that not only is, is, is easy to be consistent with. So you got to remember whatever it is that you're going to do is be consistent. But you got to do it in a way where it doesn't impact your health as it is already. So what I have invested my time in is red light therapy, also uh, AKA infrared, infrared light. Infrared is the energy that this particular device uh, lets out. And so obviously with infrared, you don't actually see infrared, you feel infrared, it's an energy and the light is the obviously the uh, the basically the reflection of the bulb that's inside but a lot of you that hear me talk about red light therapy you think maybe i'm just discussing the red light in itself but it's actually the infrared energy that this particular machine uh, does let out and so what i wanted to tell all of you out there is that it was very hard to do anything in life when my stress levels were through the roof my mental health was taking a hit what I ended, what I'd end up doing is investing in this device here. It's been the best device on the market for me. Uh, it's really easy to manage. You can take it places. It's it's not something obviously that you can put in your pocket, but it's something you can take anywhere you're anywhere you're going. You can plug it in and let it just soothe the body. Problem is it's getting kind of warm, but it does work very very well and it's very powerful. The thing about it is when you turn this light on. It not only increases the serotonin chemical in the body, it just gives you a sense of relaxation. I think a lot of you are worked up. That's the problem. You're too worked up and it's hard to let go of some of that energy. So obviously the best thing would be is if you're in, engaged in some kind of physical activity, some kind of sport, something that where you can kind of let out some of that extra energy that's not really aiding you. Because let's be honest, a lot of us have built up energy. We do have some energy, but that energy isn't useful energy. It's actually draining energy. And we want to let that energy out and put the energy in that's going to fuel us to do something good for ourselves. And so that's the really the, the biggest thing and the biggest challenge in this world is that we're told to do this, 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 and that. But we don't have the tools to keep ourselves steady enough to do those things. We, it's all about being steady. It's all about being uh, being able to overcome what you feel. And honestly, I really, I'm, I'm a big, huge believer in infrared light. Uh, I think infrared light is very underlooked. A lot of professionals use infrared light therapy, but not a lot of professionals that are in the market of, uh, medic, you know, the, it, it's just a huge thing. A lot of professionals out there aren't really recommending it sometimes because of other reasons. I'm not going to get into all of that, but I will say that it's the first step to me when you're dealing with anything is to lower the stress levels to improve the mental health. You got to improve the mental health. And one of the ways you can do that is to invest in the machine, do your research, invest into red light therapy uh, and actually let it take over you a little bit. Because again, if you're not 
calm in the body. The energy levels are off. You're not going to really do well in things that you want to do well in life. And that's why you're ultimately, that's, that's what you do. If you're trying to accomplish something, you want to do the best you can at whatever it is. Build a business, uh, strengthen a relationship, uh, maybe make yourself, uh, maybe increase your mental health. You want to increase your mental strength. These are all little things that you're going to need to get through first. The first step is getting the mental health in check, lowering the stress levels. And I think my personal and humble opinion, the best way to do that is to invest in a good infrared device. This one's the best one on the market, in my opinion. Um, it's the one that I've always used. I've never used any other device. Um, and I always stay and stand strong on this device. Uh, I make no commission on this vice in, uh, in terms of I'm, I don't have a brand contract with this company at all. I'm literally um, promoting this because this is what I use all the time. And I just want all of you to know it's a very powerful machine. If you're dealing with mental health issues, give it a try. I'm not saying it's going to heal you overnight, but you will see the benefits of it. Do not just put all hope in any one thing. Keep in mind. Healing is a part of structuring, not a part of self. It's not a part of one key identifier. It's a part of restructuring and structuring the platform of your your body, your health. It's about coming up with a framework, uh, an entirety that's going to help you heal, not just one little thing that's going to help you feel 100% better. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. If it was, please take time to subscribe to the channel. I try to bring content as often as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to step out of the J1 studio and leave you in good hands with this video. Like anything else, folks, we're here to simply go back to the basics. Take care, everybody. I'll see you on the next video.